Hey, hey, what's up? Arvin here. Today we're going to be taking ellipses and we're going to transform that into voila, a tire. Let's get started. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Driven to Draw. My name is Arvin and today we're going to be talking about the importance of practicing fundamental basic shapes and forms because when you want to draw complex objects and forms the, you have to understand that most of these forms really start with a basic and fundamental shape and if you start to break things down into basic and fundamental shapes you're gonna find that it's easier for your brain to comprehend that's why in a lot of these art books you see people drawing uh, boxes in perspective because it's easy for your brain to draw a box. Similarly, when you want to draw something like a tire or a wheel, for example, on a car. So the first thing I want you to do is just to practice drawing ellipse freehand. Just use a light touch and just keep drawing as many ellipses as you can because they'll help you to draw ellipses with more accuracy over time. So let's get started here. We're going to draw a couple of ellipses. I've got um, uh, a front ellipse here and then one here at the back and then I'm going to draw another ellipse right next to it which is just offset and just smaller in size. Then we'll draw a curve in the top and the bottom to volumize it like a cylinder and then I'm going to go back into the uh, inner hub which is going to be where I place the center hub of the wheel and then add my spokes. So right now, what you can see is one, two, three, four, and five ellipses. Technically six if you want to count that tiny little center one. And then once I do that, I'm going to use five spokes here for my wheels. And then I'm just going to follow my perspective lines here and I'm just going to thicken these spokes. So you notice where I'm thickening the spokes is really where the thickness of the wheel ends with that third ellipse that's offset. Because that's where your spokes are going to end, right, as far as how thick they are. Some wheels, when you purchase them, you know, they can be thinner or whatever it is, but this is just a nice ground rule to start with. And then once I've got that, I'm going to come in and I'm just going to block in some shading here so that I can get a, a decent amount of contrast between the spokes and the inside of the tire or the wheel. And then I'll reinforce the, how dark it is just on the outside. And this is, uh, don't get discouraged when you're doing this if it's not accurate at the beginning because it does take quite a bit of time to get confidence and, you know, feel like your ellipses are accurate. It's just not going to be that easy at the beginning. So just make sure you just give yourself some credit, be patient with yourself, and always practice drawing those ellipses first. You draw the ellipses first, then when you sit down and try to start your actual drawing, then you're going to find that those ellipses are going to still be a little bit more accurate than when you start off really rough. So now I'm just going to darken up the bottom of the tire with a little bit more shading. And if I go through a couple of passes of ink, it's just going to make it a little bit darker. If you're wondering what marker I'm using, I'm using a Prismacolor alcohol marker, and I think it's 50%. You can use a pencil, by the way. You don't have to use a marker. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, some tread to finish this thing off. And that's about it. So, you know, I hope I broke this thing down, made it uh, a little bit simple for you to understand. Uh, but be sure to come back, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on Driven to Draw.